Okay, I'm going to need your help naming this vlog. This is vlog number one. My name's Nat Wallen. You may have followed the channel. I'm thinking about calling it Coffee with Nat or uh, Charleston Real Estate and Coffee or Real Estate Beans. I don't know. That's that's no good. Uh, give me your opinion in the comments. What should I call this daily vlog? It's a day in the life of a real estate agent. I'm going to talk a little bit about yesterday. But do subscribe and join me for a cup of coffee each morning. You may have already been following us. We have a YouTube channel. We love to create content and answer the question, what's it like living in Charleston? But we also sell a lot of homes in Charleston. And I'm going to talk a little bit about what happened yesterday. Um, a monkey wrench was thrown into my mix. Uh, let me just jump into it. I'm going to show you my screen. So this is the property. A young guy had called me. Um, it's kind of a sad story. His uh, father had passed away a few months ago, and he's been going over from Park Circle um, over to deep into Mount Pleasant to feed this elderly cat named Zach. And um, nice kitty cat. And uh, anyway, he was finally exhausted. He said, Nat, I don't know what to do. It's in the probate scenario. Can we sell this home? We did some talking, and of course we could. So I went over and I did the research, and you know there was a monkey wrench that was thrown in. Let me show you the house here. So this is the property itself, and um, all of the comps, and, and we listed it at five ninety nine five hundred. It needs some work, okay. And so this is how we kind of came to that conclusion. And I won't go through all of these, but um, you know the houses they all showed like here's one that was pretty similar um, that that showed that this house needed to be less than six hundred thousand. But here was the monkey wrench. Same street. The address is 1460 Endicott Way. Same street. 1477. Same exact house. Sold for, it listed for $749.9 and it sold for $815. And let me just show you a couple photos here. So it's a beautiful home. Let me just start here. Beautiful home. Same exact floor plan. Same exact layout. And it was a flip. They they redid it. And, you know, they listed it for, and this was not long ago. You might be saying, wow, that must have been a year ago because it couldn't have, you know, sold so fast in today's market. But it actually did. It was, it was in June that it closed, late June. But as you can see, it's a nice home. There's really nice finishings. This is all, you know, wood trim in the dining room. The, I mean, it was just beautifully done. So I was like, what do we do? because mine needed a lot of work. Um, so we priced it at $599.5 because that's what the majority of the relevant comps said. And uh, we ended up getting it sold. And um, <clears throat> uh, I just thought it would be important to kind of show you that pricing a home is important and there are going to be things to try to figure out. It, you can't just figure this stuff out on Zillow. So we took a close look at this property, what the upgrades put, would have cost. We looked at, you know, the age of the HVAC, all of these things. We put it on the market. You know, he made the decision to list it just below six, and we did so. And we were able to sell it in less than four hours. I actually got three offers right away on it. And they're even buying it um, with all of the stuff in the house. So that's one of the things that we used because it was important to him to not have to do a lot of work because he has no place for all of his dad's things. So he took the important things. And uh, the people may be even taking the cat. They may be even adopting the cat. So those are some of the days of, in my life as a real estate agent. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what I should name this thing. I'm kind of liking like real estate beans, but that sounds cheesy too. Just let me know. Thanks for being here.